Hi everyone, in this tutorial I wanted to look at copying and pasting triggers in Storyline 360. Uh, this also works in Storyline 2 and Storyline 3. Um, and it's really handy when you have a lot of the same triggers on a slide that instead of having to create them all from scratch, you can create one and then copy and paste it or copy and paste it onto other objects. So I've got here on this first example uh, some shapes and each of the shapes is showing a particular layer, one of the six layers. And all I've done is I've created the first trigger to show layer one when the user clicks on the number one circle. Now, I could keep doing that another five times, but with copying and pasting, I could do it a little bit quicker. And certainly if I had a lot more than six shapes, it would be even quicker, I'd be saving even more time. So what I need to do is, with the trigger highlighted in the trigger panel, uh, click on the copy button, and then come down to my number two object and click on it. And with it selected, now the paste button in the trigger panel becomes available and I can paste that trigger onto that object. Now the only thing is in this particular case, and this can happen with some of the triggers that you copy and paste, is that it's still going to say show layer 1 when the user clicks on the number 2 circle. So I just need to change that layer name, but the rest of the trigger is still fine. And I can keep going along and I can keep pasting the original trigger onto my other objects. And in this case I just have to then just change the layer names as I do that but it's actually going to save me some time in that I don't have to create them all from scratch. So copying and pasting them onto other objects is one way. So, and then I have my uh, six show layer triggers there without having to do every trigger separately. Another example of using them might be when you have something like a slider um, or in 360 if you had a dial, it would, the same thing would happen. I've got again a slider that might be showing some layers here. You could have in your one, it could be changing some states of an object. And I have the first trigger created to show the first layer when the slider is equal to or in the number one position. And in this case, again, when I do the copy, I can copy that trigger with it being selected and I can paste it. And that effectively just makes a duplicate. And I can just change a couple of the parts of the trigger, so the one and the two. And I can just keep pasting it and changing the little sections of the trigger that I need to. But again, I'm not having to create all of these triggers from scratch. I can um, saving some time with the with the copying and the pasting. So, yeah, a neat little little trick. A couple of ways of doing it. There would be some other ways of of copying and pasting. You can copy and paste onto pictures, or like I said, into the dial. Um, but certainly, copying and pasting triggers where you have a a lot of the same trigger on the same slide can save you a little bit of time uh, when you're developing your relearning. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I will see you next time.